I'm not going to get ahead of the president's remarks that he'll make tomorrow. Uh, he did speak with uh, a number of leaders this morning, and um, he's going to continue to have conversations with uh, relevant stakeholders. Uh, but ultimately, he'll make what he feels is the best decision for the United States. And he spoke with five leaders. That's hardly um, indicative of uh, everybody across the globe. Uh, but certainly, you know, he's going to continue to have conversations with different leaders from a across the world. Um, and we'll keep you posted as those calls take place. And we'll let you know when the president's made a decision. So if the accusations against Roy Moore were true, uh, then Moore should step aside. I'm wondering how the president reached the conclusion that all of Moore's accusers, including those who have put forward evidence, are lying. Didn't say they were lying. Um, the president's position hasn't changed, still finds those concerning. But as we've also said, uh, the president feels that um, he would rather have a um, person that supports his agenda versus somebody who opposes his agenda every step of the way. And until the rest of that process plays out, you have a choice between two individuals uh, and the president's chosen to support more. Again, we've said that the allegations are concerning. Um, and if true, he should step aside, but we don't have a way to validate that. And that's something for the people of Alabama to decide, which we've also said, and we maintain that. Uh, and ultimately it will come down to the people of Alabama to make that decision.